What's up? This is Vince Carter. You're listening to the Three Point Conversion. Check it out. Raphael Haynes with Three Point Conversion Radio. Hey, what's going on, Melo? First of all, man, congrats to moving up to the top 10 and scoring. When you think about your journey coming into the NBA, won a title in um, Syracuse, and you come in, people expected you to be a great. I'm pretty sure you wanted to be great, not as far as number-wise, but just be a great player. When you accomplish this feat or, I guess, moving to the top 10, what goes through your mind? Because I know you say you don't really think about the numbers, but what goes through your mind? Do you take time to think about this and be like, wow, I can't believe I'm here? Yeah, I think this moment is a little bit little bit special um, than some of the other moments, even though, I, you know, I, the other moments just was coming. It was just fast. It was happening. You know, you have a moment and it's on to the next game. It's on to the next thing. Uh, top 10 in anything uh, of all time is, is a special moment. So I don't want to take this. I don't want to take this moment for granted. Uh, I, I understand how, how big this moment is. Uh, it don't seem real because I'm actually still in it. I'm still doing it. So it ain't like it's. You know, I don't want to downplay it. I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm blessed, uh, you know, to, to be to be able to uh, to to accomplish this in year 18. Uh, I think that's what people should look at. You know, the fact that I'm in my 18th season. Uh, I've been doing this damn near 20 years. Uh, still enjoying the game. Still loving the game. Still approaching the game the same way. Um, and I'm here, man. I, I I told my teammates, you know, after the game today, it was, you know, it was my perseverance. It was me staying true to myself and, and never wavering and staying solid. Uh, that's why I'm able to be in this position today. And Melo, you talked about um, the smile on your face, and you just seem like you're just in a good place right now for the yeah. last two years. What would your message be to the young scorers in the NBA just trying to reach where you are? as far as being a top 10 or just being a great player, what would your message be to those players? 10,000 hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's, you know, it's, I would just say, man, if, if that's what you do, then perfect what you do, right? It's, it's, I, I, it's easier said than done, but you have to put the time in, you have to put the effort in, you have to put the sweat in and the blood in, in, in order to be in, in, in this moment. And, you know, I know a lot of people, younger guys probably look at, this moment, like, oh, it happened now and everything is happening now. But I've been doing this almost 20 years, right? I've, I've been putting in the same work for almost 20 years, you know, the same approach to the game, the same mentality, you know. So right now I'm, I'm reaping those benefits of, 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 you know, the fruit of my labor right now. And again, it's been happening. This has been going on for a long, long time, damn near 20 years. So um, I would just tell them, man, perfect, perfect what you do best. Don't never let nobody tell you what you can't do. If you can do something, if you're great at it, then perfect that and, and, and be great at that. Uh, don't try to please nobody. 